when diving into the tangled web of surveys reflecting diverse political views, one cannot overlook the swirling concerns about free speech and the fair treatment of individuals. The complexity of human identity further muddies the waters, making it challenging to tie online expressions directly to their creators. You had mentioned a social media account that uh, espoused anti-immigrant, anti-Semitic views, but you did not say what platform that was on and what the username was. And this is Crooks that we're discussing. Yes, Senator, that's Crook. I, I, did, uh, I didn't want to comment on it because we haven't fully confirmed yet. And I thought that uh, as soon as we confirm and certify, Would I you will supply provide that. that. And Absolutely. also the age at which he had those feelings. And then we understand that the Gab account is pro-immigration, pro-lockdown, leftist views. Is that accurate? I, I haven't seen it directly, but I believe from what I've been told that is accurate. With the Gab account, we're also, though that's been publicly revealed through the CIO and other things, we're still working to certify and verify that that's his account also. But it does have um, differing points of view, it would appear. Okay. And what age? And how fresh is that Gab account? The Gab account um, based on my recollection, the comments in there or the messaging is from about 2021, I believe. Okay. And the other preceded that? Maybe he was age 14? Yes, Senator. The, the other account that we talked about was in the 2019-2020 timeframe. So it would have been in the couple of years right before the Gab uh, Right messaging. before that. Yes. Are there other accounts that you all are currently verifying and receiving information from? We are. We're, we've, um, as I mentioned, we've issued a bunch of legal process and we're still awaiting returns from a number of the companies um, to include other uh, social media companies as well. At the heart of this discussion is the stark contrast between Thomas Crook's two social media personas and the significant implications they carry. The public's curiosity is piqued by the sluggish or hesitant validation of left-wing JB accounts compared to the swift scrutiny of anti-immigrant and anti-Semitic profiles. This situation showcases a spectrum of investigative intensities, often seemingly harsher on left-wing expressions. Here lies a critical examination of authenticity and personal accountability. The multifaceted online identities of Thomas Crooks reveal the evolution of his beliefs, reflecting broader social issues about how individuals are judged based on their online presence and the FBI's responses. The intricate dance of human identity and belief systems comes into sharp focus, as Crooks's seemingly contradictory accounts underscore the fluid and sometimes conflicting nature of personal ideology. The FBI's meticulous process in verifying these accounts highlights the challenge of linking online behaviors to real individuals, especially when these behaviors shift over time. Critics wary of governmental oversight and potential bias might view the FBI's handling of Crook's accounts with suspicion, sensing an uneven application of justice marred by a lack of transparency or political bias. In essence, the evolving online presence of Thomas Crooks serves as a lens through which we can examine the broader dynamics of identity, belief, and the perpetual struggle against ideological influences. This narrative ignites a deeper conversation about authenticity, governmental surveillance, and the perceived fairness in how online expressions are evaluated and acted upon. 